Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Lainey. Today we're going to do a video that was actually recommended by one of you guys. Here's the comment. I thought this idea was so fun. It's basically comparing real life trends, so trends you see on people day to day, to online like TikTok, Instagram, Influencer, Vogue magazine trends. And I thought this was just so fun. Kind of comparing the two gave me some takeaways, so... Thank you so much for this comment and this idea. I love it so much. Let's get into it. So I think what kind of started the whole idea of this is the Lululemon belt bag. This is definitely something that is super trendy online and like people talk about all the time, but I think it's more geared to, maybe it's the same audience that watches my videos, maybe it's a little different, but I would never consider buying the Lululemon belt bag. It is super practical, it makes sense, and I feel like that's why it is something that's trending in real life. I think that maybe the people who dress in a way where they style or always wear the Lululemon belt bag aren't watching my videos and are, there's just more more of them out there. I think that this is obviously a super practical trend. Um, I live just outside Detroit and I was texting my friend Izzy who lives in downtown Detroit and I was asking her what people wear and in the suburbs people wear the Lululemon bell bag also in the city so I think this is a very universal real life trend. I think the coexisting online version of this trend that feels like it's just as popular but I have never ever seen in real life is the Balenciaga Le Cagol this bag honestly feels like the next it girl bag like it's taking over I mean it's already taken over it's like it's been trendy and people really like it and want to wear it but it's just one of those things where I feel like if you're not in New York City or LA um, people just don't have the money to spend on a super trendy designer bag because I see designer bags here and there in the suburbs and in downtown Detroit, but more so I'll see like the classic Gucci Marmount bag, is that what it's called? Or a Louis Vuitton Neverfull, I see like classics. I wouldn't see such a trendy designer bag. The next real life trend that I have seen for honestly a couple years now and I still see people wear it all the time is the shacket. This is funny because in my last video I talked about how people online or on TikTok were like dissing the shacket and again it's not something that i reach for now but it's just such a practical fall jacket especially living in michigan um you get a limited time to wear your shacket and when it's that time everybody steps out and it's cute like there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with any of these trends, but it is definitely a real life trend. I know so many girls and my friends and I see the shacket all the, all the, all the time. So I think the equivalent of this one online would be like a denim jacket with denim jeans, the denim on denim. This is something that I have seen in person uh, because like the Lake of I've never, ever, ever seen that bag in person, but denim on denim I do see in person. I wear it all the time. Um, I think it is just like a little bit more of a fashion forward, uh, type of shacket like it's the same thing the denim and, uh jacket and the shacket i'm sure most of you have a denim jacket um try it matching denim mismatched denim it is such a cute look and you'll get so many compliments on it you can dress it up for like a night at the bars which is like my favorite to wear my denim jacket jeans and then like kitten heels or even as it gets colder like boots if you have red leather boots that'd be so cute black leather boots you could wear it with sneakers and really dress it down if that's what you want to do a super cute look and then like a pop of color bag or just a black bag so easy i think the denim on denim trend that is more online right now will be something that transitions into one of the like more mainstream real life trends okay the next thing this is one that izzy said she said the wide leg jeans when she goes out to like the bars and stuff every girl is wearing wide leg jeans and i was like of course like they're practical they're comfier than skinny jeans they're cute um like who doesn't who doesn't love it i think this is something that is also like an online trend the way i see girls wearing wide leg jeans in real life a lot of the times they have holes in them or are distressed which i don't think we see as much on like the online fashionistas we're seeing more of a darker denim no distressing when i see it in real life girls are tend to be wearing a lighter wash denim and they have distressing and also 
in real life, a lot of the times they are high-waisted jeans. And online, you know, the low-waisted jeans is like a movement. And I wear both. I think they're both cute. I do like a darker denim right now. I, I think that they're easier to dress up or dress down. And they just look a bit more chic. So if you're looking to buy a new pair of jeans, stick with your favorite cut, whether that's wide leg, skinny jean, whatever. But go for a non-distressed darker denim. And then the equivalent of this, I think when real people are getting dressed to go out they put on their wide leg jeans and they put on like a fun little going out top and i feel like what we see a lot more online as the trend is you put on your fun little top and add a maxi skirt and again this is something that i love to wear i am pretty limited to what i'm wearing right now because of my pregnancy i would be more inclined to wear a maxi skirt and a cute top out than jeans and a cute top because it just feels a little bit different a little bit more fun and fashionable and you know there again there's nothing wrong with choosing the denim option it's just online i see more maxi skirts in real life i see more jeans the next one that izzy thought of again were the aritzia molina pants literally everyone and their mother has these pants which is so surprising because they're so or they're they're expensive like i'm pretty sure they're pretty expensive so the fact that a lot of people have these it kind of surprises me um and like various colors you know not just like the black classic ones people will get more than one color i don't have these i've never had them but they're super cute again i think it's that kind of transition of like i don't want to wear jeans all the time i'm gonna wear a leather pant and you know step out and i think it's so cute i love it what i think the online version of this would be is we're getting away from so much leather i mean obviously leather is still in and is trending like don't get me wrong there but we're seeing a lot more metallic i could see the like molina leather pant transitioning into like a metallic leather pant for the online fashion girlies and when i say online fashion girlies i don't necessarily just mean like someone who produces content and posts it's online i just mean you guys who like to watch fashion videos and stay up on trends and are just interested and like you know dressing a little bit different than everybody else in real life that's what i mean by that but i think metallic pants will be a thing for us and i would like to get my hands on a pair i've always looked at a pair they have them on like free people but they're like three hundred dollars and i just can't imagine doing that so metallic accessories right now instead of a leather accessory like a metallic bag or metallic boots already working their way in and this has been a trend since 2020 i talked about it in my 2020 trend predictions but it's slowly making its way into like fast fashion and places where the um, average consumer can afford it and not have to get like the product chloe bag what's it called cleo doesn't own any designer <laughs> okay Okay. The next thing, again, something Izzy said. Thank you, Izzy, and everybody else who's just working on this video basically for me. Am I getting lazy? But she said white sneakers, and this is something that I talk about quite a bit on my channel, is that when you go to the bars, a lot of people will be just wearing white sneakers with their outfit. I think people took this the wrong way in one of my videos or you know some some people did i'm not saying that i don't like white sneakers or like i don't like white sneakers to the bar it is practical it is comfy do i think a pair of beat white sneakers will take your outfit one level down if you could wear a pair of black boots pointed toe with a nice little heel. I think that would take your outfit and just elevate it compared to a dirty white sneaker. Clean white sneakers, I feel like they're just neutral, but a dirty white sneaker with like a little going out dress, do you know what I mean? I just don't think that enhances your look, but sometimes you don't want to. You just want to be comfortable and that's fine. I don't judge people who wear white sneakers or dirty white sneakers to the bar with their little dresses. Do I think the outfit would be cuter with something else? Sure. I don't care what other people wear. I know people judge me and care what I wear. <laughs> So white sneakers, just such a classic. People wear them all the time, not even just to the bars, you know, in day-to-day -day life. And I have white sneakers too that I wear day-to-day -day life. Definitely a real life trend. The online version of this would definitely be the Samba. The amount of compliments I get on my Sambas in real life is insane. And I just didn't realize that they are so impossible to get right now. Um, like the true Samba. I just think the Sambas are less attainable right now because so many people wanted them and they're sold out and they're like a million dollars on StockX. So you just don't see them as much they're not as easy to get as an air force one or a new balance or something like that so there's that 
both super cute. Uh, I think once, you know, Zambas restock and stop getting so, so trendy online, we will definitely be seeing them more and more in real life once people can get their hands on them. Next thing, again, an Izzy suggestion were small purses, and I totally agree with this. Seeing even just people out day to day, they tend to wear the um, the smaller shoulder bags and they're so cute, I love them. Or a smaller crossbody bag, but we just tend to see a little bit of a smaller bag. When online, we are definitely seeing like the hobo and the bigger bags trending. I just think it's gonna take again like a year for the bigger bags to hit mainstream, mostly because like the fast fashion companies haven't really been making those yet. They've been making the smaller shoulder bags and as much as it sucks, most people just buy all of their clothes from Zara or H&M. So if you want any of these trends, like the newer trends that maybe haven't hit real life yet, check out the thrift store. You can find them all the time and for really good prices because people don't know what they're missing yet. Next thing you see all the time in real life are leather bombers and leather blazers. And for good reason, they are so cute. They're so practical. I feel like for a really long time, we didn't have like a good going out jacket that was trendy. And now like that the leather jackets are so in, it's amazing. Who wouldn't be on board with that? So I think online we still see a lot of the leather bombers which is really cool that we're still seeing both of those together because it just makes it feel like the trend is going to last longer i don't see the leather blazers as much online with like the fashion girls and what they're like loving and obsessed with i think the new version of the leather blazer and it hurts for me to talk about like the real life trends as already being older outdated because they're not. I think the whole point of this video is, is showing that like online versus real life is so freaking different. When you think you're dressing like outdated, just go walk outside, touch some grass, and you'll be like, oh wait, no I'm not. So the equivalent to the leather blazer though that I think is trending online is the moto jacket. So a more smaller fit leather jacket and like buttoning only the top collar and leaving it open. A very Bella Hadid, um, Kendall Jenner. It's cute. I mean, they're both cute. And the moto jacket uh, is a little bit more fun just because you can have a bit more personality to it, whether it is like patchwork moto jacket with like red or yellow or graphics on it, or it is just all black, like super cute. I love variation in trends because it makes us not so sick of the trends so quickly. Again, this is a tip I always give, but if you can thrift or get things vintage because you won't see the same mass produced version of a trend over and over, and you'll end up liking your version for a lot longer. Next thing we see a lot in real life are cargo pants super cute can't go wrong with them i wear cargo pants all the time too i think we still see them online a lot and this was a trend that definitely like hit mainstream pretty fast i think because it is just so practical and easy to find and they were already around they just hit a lot faster than some of these other trends that take a long time to like hit real life so cargo pants the one we see online a lot more now and is looked at as a little bit more fashionable and not so basic is the cargo skirt. Is it still basic? Sure, who knows what basic is anymore? When online, TikTok, literally, some people call it everything basic, but the cargo skirt, I really like the cargo skirt. Again, a super easy thing to thrift because not a lot of people are buying them yet. It still feels a little bit too out there and maybe like it's a little bit harder to style. I found mine at the thrift store for like under $5. So if you've been wanting to try out that trend, the next thing we see out at the bars all the time are bustier and corset top. Um, again, these are something that are really, really easy to thrift. I thrift them all the time. We do see a lot of girls wearing like the Urban Outfitters like bustier corsets, um, which are still super, super cute. They're trendy for a reason. They're just like so flattering. And I do think they're still like super trendy in the fashion world, but I think something we're moving towards and I could see girls in real life wearing these out to the bar because they have before are the off the shoulder tops we've been seeing more and more girls wear you know the wide cut neck tops and wearing them slouchy off the shoulder or the tighter off the shoulder tops and they're really cute like i could so see that being like an out going out look 
And especially in the winter time, like you finally get to wear like a long sleeve again that's like flattering and fashionable and cute. You don't have to wear your little bustier and be frozen. You could wear like a sweater off the shoulder top to the bars in the freezing cold and it's a really cute look. The last one we have is the biker short. The biker short has been trending IRL for so long now. And I think when we were starting to see it come into style and like influencers and you know first tier fashion people wear it, they were dressing it up a lot more like with blazers or heels or as a night out look and now we see it more as athleisure which i think is where it should be you know in the summertime i feel like everybody is wearing little biker shorts and i just feel like the online version of this would be a mini skirt i don't see mini skirts as often um and i mean the tennis skirt is different i guess but i mean more so in the way of like the biker short being dressed up the mini skirt being dressed up i see a lot more online than i do in person reading these online uh trends i'm like oh my god these have been trending for so long like why am I even talking about them? But as I read through them, I'm like, I have like never seen any of these in person and I am chronically online because to me, these have already been trending for a really long time and almost feel like old news and they're not. They just, they haven't even hit the real world yet. Like we all need to get off TikTok and stop listening to me. <laughs> I'm just joking, <laughs> please. So basically the main takeaway of this though is if a trend is comfortable and practical and kind of already out there, it's gonna hit mainstream really, really quickly because it's just not as scary to try out, uh, especially if fashion, fast fashion brands are mass producing the items, they're gonna hit a lot quicker because when I see people out and about wearing, you know, the bustier top, the Lululemon belt bag, it's always the fast fashion version that everyone and their mother has the exact version of. And if you don't want to hate your clothes as quickly or be sick of wearing them, honestly, you guys, thrift, vintage, it is the way to go because that little difference in each product will help you so much. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was definitely a little bit different. I hope it made sense, but um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you guys in a few days. I love you the absolute most. Bye. <laughs>